Look at that handsome boy. Sorry for my little rant last night, but I was a little upset because someone left the door open on 4th of July, and I thought Clyde was... Yesterday, 4th of July, there's always a big block party, and I let someone up to use the restroom in our house, and they left the door open, and I couldn't find... So I thought Clyde got out, and you know, 4th of July, block party, I was so scared. So that kind of put me in a bad mood for the rest of the night. But we found... But anyway, Clyde didn't get out. We found him. Everything was fine. But it just put me in a bad mood for the rest of the night because my heart sunk. I don't want to... Stop being a... Don't be a... No one wants a... Yeah, we all got a little toasted yesterday, didn't we? Fourth of July. Put some butter on that spread. Mm, I love cheese. He's on the beach with my favorite day. Oh my god. Okay, next time we'll bring the rope, the little tug of rope thing, okay? He needs something to bite. Nice chair. Honey. Well, that's a nice butt shot. <laughs> that's great. Tonight the movie is Goonies. No, there's a pit bull next to us. I'm trying to deflect him. He's staring at the pit bull over there. Why would they pay you right? I mean, you don't, if you have a dog, you don't sit next to another person with a dog as well. This is gonna be trouble. Why do they do that? We're at movies on the beach, but the movie keeps freezing. But we're having fun with Clyde. He's burying his bone. But the movie froze and everyone, everyone's leaving because the movie keeps freezing out. Oh, well, it's not about the movie. This is enjoying the beach. It's a busy day at work, but I came home and I made my husband some mac and cheese with cut up turkey franks inside because that's all I could eat. Yes, I'm toasted. It was such a busy day at work today, but because of Roy's radiation therapy, all he could eat is mac and cheese. By the way, to all husbands, do you really not know how to make the bed? Or do you have to do that on purpose so the wives come home after remake? Sorry for background noise and how I look, but I'm having a major allergy attack. Like extreme major allergy attack. Just having dinner, but as you know, our friend Colin Dunbar was trying to do the hammer throw for the Olympics, but he didn't make it, so I just got the news. It's just really sad because this was his second attempt to try to do the Olympics. And he's really talented and really good, and he I feel so bad. But Roy's at the bar right now, cheering him on anyway. I'm here having dinner, watching some Casey Neistat videos, and some Access... And watches Access TV with some margaritas. <laughs> it was a busy day at work, like busy. Like, look at my hair, it's like crazy. I look at my face. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a groovy afternoon hump day. And if you know, if you have allergies, you can feel my pain. By the way, dear husbands, do you pretend not to know how to make up the bed? Or you make the bed bad on purpose? So us wives have to do it anyway. By the way, look at my new t-shirt. It came in the mail yesterday. I washed it. That's why it looks a little wrinkled. But I wish it was a tank top. But I'm going to... I'm such a cheese ball. I am crying over watching America's Got Talent. I've been missing a lot because on Tuesdays is movies on the beach. I really like
make my new t-shirt. I love Casey Neistat. And you should watch his video. It's a really good video to do. This is the video. It's a must watch. Please watch this video. It's very important. Oh, I just randomly picked up a new Us Weekly. And who do I find? Is that Trisha Paytas? Oh my god, YouTubers are just like, ah. Uh. Is that your chicken? Here. Get your chicken. Ah! I'm gonna get your chicken. Yes, I'm gonna get your chicken. I'm gonna get your chicken. I'm gonna have your chicken. I'm gonna get your chicken. I can't get your chicken. Can I have your chicken? Can I have your chicken? No. Lunch time, it's almost gone, but I get cottage cheese, and I get habanero salsa, mix it all up, put some uh, chips in it, and eat it like cereal. I just woke up from a long nap. Allergies make me so sleepy. Uh, I guess I'll wake up. Look at that handsome boy. He's tired from playing. The swag van is back. It's a swag van. It's crazy, huh? I'm having a major allergy attack, so I don't look that great. But Roy's uh, watching Colin trying to make it to the Olympics, but I don't think he made it. I just want to give you what I do in a day. I just made dinner for Roy, but he's... Uh, He's at the pub, excuse me. I'm watching Colin try to make it for um, Road to Rio. I put away the leftovers and I just made myself some cheese and tortillas. This major allergy attacks. If you handle allergy attacks, you know what I mean? But it's 7.30. I'm eating my dinner, which is basically cheese and tortillas. I'm watching some tabloid TV. I'm watching some Casey and Estelle. I'm eating, having a little margarita, and there is my Clyde. <laughs> Dana Light. Sorry, I look like crap, but literally, I've been laying down because today at work has been really, really, really busy. And then I took a nap and everything because my allergies are just out of control. So, just a little day in the life. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Stacy Burke here. And on Tuesday for Movies on the Beach, we ended up going home because the movie did freeze. Uh, technical difficulties, but it was alright. We had an early night. And this week, pretty much, I've just been like busy at work and my allergy situation is just out of control. Where I'm, I'm just, I want to sleep all the time. So, but my husband's still working from home this week because he had his last day of radiation on Tuesday. So he's all done. All done. He graduated. You see the picture of his graduation um, plaque or whatever, his certificate. But I think he goes back to work next week. It's been nice having him home. Uh, work, I'm not working from home because he hasn't been working. But, um... It was nice having him home for that month, even though I know he had to go to radi radiation, that was bad. But it was kind of nice having him home because as I'm going out to work, he's home with Clyde. And after his radiation, he would always put Clyde in his wagon and take him around town. And Clyde loves to look at the beach and check out things. He loves going in his wagon. And Roy would take Clyde to work and visit me at work and uh, just do errands. Clyde loves going in his wagon and just going out for an adventure. He's so, he's such a smart little doggy. Such a smart doggy. So it, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be bittersweet that he goes back to work. But in a way, I know it's good because, uh, you know, work does help. Like sometimes when you're home a lot. And also the radiation is done, which is amazing. He's still very red right here. His taste buds are still not great, and the doctor says he'll probably never ever grow hair again, which is sad because he grew such a great, wonderful beard, and he really wanted to grow a beard. Again, he looked really good in a beard. Like, some people can't grow beards. Roy could grow a pretty nice beard, 
but he says he's going to try to grow one. He's going to try to grow one. And I'm wearing my Casey Nistat shirt. I got this. Casey Nistat does have a website, but um, he doesn't sell merch. Not yet. Hopefully soon. I just randomly found it. I Googled, I just Googled Casey Nistat search, and I think it's like Red Bubble or Red Bubble or something like that, and I, I cut it up and stuff. I like it. And shout out to Trisha Payne as she shouted out me <laughs> on her uh, Twitter of some of the YouTubers that she likes. Because I saw her on Us Weekly. Trisha Payne is on the, in, inside the new Us Weekly. Now YouTubers are so famous. They're in Us Weekly now. And you'll see her inside Us Weekly of this issue. Today is um, July 7th. So, you'll have to get it now. <laughs> you'll have to get it now. Because um, by the time you probably see this video, it'll probably be done. But um, I think that's pretty cool. So, I don't know what else I'm going to put in this video. Sorry for a lot of my videos. are kind of a lot of Snapchatty and just bits and pieces here. This is how things have been lately. I'll probably hopefully get back on track on vlogging and sitting down and talking to you guys soon. There's some new drama with our um, building. We found out one of our new tenants downstairs uh, broke up with her boyfriend. And so to make ends meet, she's been, um, what do you call it, renting out her apartment through Airbnb, which is against our rental agreement. And it's also not cool because then they get a key to our security gate and to our laundry room into a rooftop of all these random people of Airbnb because it's in a rental agreement that no that you're not allowed to sublet which is basically subletting so we're bringing it to the attention of the property management and the landlord hopefully they could do something about that because that ain't cool because I know if we were to do that we'd be out of here ASAP so we're going through that a little bit and um I guess that's about it. My allergies has been just out of control, so I'm sorry. Like, I, I deal with allergies all the time, but this week has been especially really bad. So, I don't know if I'm going to put any more into this vlog, but, um, oh, and I am saddened with the stuff in the news about all these people getting shots. <sighs> I put on Twitter, I mean... I don't know. There's nothing I could do or say to make it better. I'm just so tired of some people just treating life like garbage, disrespect to life, and shooting first and asking questions later. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Everyone needs to respect life. I understand your job might be tough and you get scared, but that is why you need to be trained in your field not to overreact on certain things. And I do have a lot of uh, side feelings about it and opinions that I'm going to hold off because I'll probably talk about it later, but it really doesn't matter what matters is hopefully hopefully things will change it's getting really out of hand with all these innocent people dying over nothing 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 I mean if you're gonna die over if you're gonna die in a violent way it should be about something and not just for a, just a traffic ticket or, or selling CDs in a parking lot I mean that is no reason for death and if you own a gun legally you should be shot and thought a threat like maybe if you use it yes but anyway just sickened saddened and a little pissed off because it could be anybody could be anybody could be anybody, could be me, could be you. We all have reasons to be upset with this because it's not cool. Not cool. 
went away to all my Stace Cadets and my Briquettes. I hope you're having a groovy day. Until next time, peace. Another little side note, because people always want to know what I eat. I eat weird, random stuff. I think you saw before what I do is I get uh, cottage cheese, I get very hot salsa, I mix it up, I put it in the microwave, and then I put a bunch of crumbled tortilla chips and I eat it like cereal. This is another thing I do. I keep macaroni and cheese on hand. And I put imitation bacon bits. Um, in other words, I use, I keep mac and cheese on hand and I do weird things with it. Oh, there goes my phone, sorry. Um, I'll put, just, I'll just think of it like toast. I just use, I put different things. I'm going to put imitation bacon bits, some um, green Tabasco, some Parmesan cheese. I'll microwave it. At this moment, what I did was I put some imitation bacon bits, hot salsa, habanero salsa. I put some uh, cottage cheese, and I microwaved it, and I'm eating it. <laughs> I basically make little casserole bowls. I keep mac and cheese on hand, I put, keep cottage cheese on hand, and I know, I, I, you're probably going, ew, gross, but that's what I'm having for dinner, and it's pretty good. Sometimes I chop up tomatoes, and I put in the mac and cheese. Um, you just never know. I put peas in there. I put, uh, just name it. I just throw it all in there. And I zap it up. And I keep things on hand. And that way when I'm hungry, I can zap like a little meal. Alright, keep me posted. I don't know if it's interesting, but people always ask, like, what do you eat? What do you eat? So, there you go. That's what I eat.